And uh, there is a church called St. Mary's Church that you know. St. Alphagy's? I belong to St. Alphagy's Church. She's not St. Mary's. She said, no, it's St. Mary's. I've been out with them. We went into St. Mary's. Oh. All right. You say so, but... Can you, can you ask him if he forgives Steve? Stephen? If he, ask him if he forgives him. Of course he does, love. He said, um, there's no malice over here. Mind you, when we first came, I was very bitter because I'd had a pretty rocky time for a few years and then I just got on my feet and everything was going forward and then wham. And of course I was very bitter, but not anymore. He remembers the bridge and the railway running up the side. He remembers that. That's right, yeah. And then the next thing. But he said, well, it's, it's a good life over here, you know. We can go do what we, we, we travel and see things and come home quite regularly. Does he? You see, his mum hasn't really come to terms with it at all. That's right. If only I could get through to my mum and tell her to stop crying because I'm all right. Yeah, did you love? You had for a bank book with 48 pounds in. You had a bank book with 48 pounds in. Did you find it? No, he had 64 pounds on him. You had 64 pounds on you. No, I had a bank book, he said. Tony had 48 pounds in. We haven't found it. Well, tell me, where you kept your socks? If you anything like my son, love, your socks all over the place. <laughs> your mum used to put them in the up above a wardrobe. That's right, she did. Well, where is mum, when, he's, when we put them away, in a box above the wardrobe, there was a bank book there. Tell mum to have a good look. Yeah. He said, it's only 48 pounds, he'd like to buy his mum a present. Well, until then, my darling, yes. Pardon? And don't talk to each other, love. Talk to me. <laughs> He's got a man here with him. He said hello to him. The man said he had cancer of the bowel. It's an elderly boy. He's the grandfather of somebody. He had cancer of the tummy or the bowel before he got over. No, I don't know, Doris, no. We don't know who it is, though. Probably belongs to the next sitter. Yes. I will. I will. She's what? Your mum been to the hospital, love, is telling me. Not into, but went to the hospital. No. No, Terry's mum did. Oh, it's Ter is Terry talking to me now, is it? Say it's Terry and I know where I'm at. She said, my mum went to the hospital, not into, went to the hospital. But the test was all right. Do you know about this? No, no. Yes, yes. Mum, yeah, my mum did go, yeah. That's right, yeah, Tess. She did, did go. Yeah. Who's Jean? That's my mum. Jean we're talking about. Yeah. Now get yourself together, he said. Get your act together. That's my mum. Get your act together, he said. It's Jean I'm talking about. I'm telling you, she went to the hospital. But he said that she had a test and it was all right. It's okay, yeah. Give her my love and take her some flowers and say, Thank I you sent so them. Thanks. I sent them with all my love. You see... I never even said cheerio that night. <coughs> and Mum said, if only I'd have said goodbye to him, if only I'd have said That's cheerio. Fun. Instead of that, did it, the knock on the door and said, That's true, he's yeah. not coming home anymore. Who's John? Or James? John is a cousin. He died when he was 17. Well, he's with him as well. Yeah. So we're all together. So tell Mum... I'm sorry I didn't say cheerio. Sometimes he would shout, cheerio! But he said, I never did, I just went. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not he's a joke. Did he have a new leather jacket on? Yes, I've got it. He's carrying it, he said, I want to yeah. care, but I got my new leather jacket. That's right, it was new. <laughs> he said, uh, all I could think about when I got over here, what's happened to my new leather jacket? I yeah. saved up for that. He said, I was so proud. He, he said, loved that jacket. He said, and all I could think about when I woke up over here was, I wonder where my leather jacket is. <laughs> Who's got my leather jacket? But you've got it, love. I've got it, yeah. Although it buries you.
But never mind, love, when you put it on, feel his arms around you, love. Because um, you're very close, aren't you? Yeah. He didn't always say eye to eye, but he said we'd do anything for each other. God bless you, my darling. So, would you please tell him I never told him I loved him, but I did really. He can hear you, love. Please it can tell hear him you. I loved him. If only we would learn to say it now. I love you. We always say it too late, don't we? Always, love. All of you here, remember before you go to bed at night, say, I love you. Because you never can tell. I have so many people come back and say, if only I'd have told me mum or told me wife that I loved her. Right. Yeah. If only I did love her, but I never said it. That's right. He can hear you, love. She hey, you've got a baby much. now, haven't you? <laughs> have you got a baby? I thought he said, and the baby. It's my daughter. He always called her the baby. Pardon? But, oh, he's got a baby, did you say? No, I thought he said you had a baby. I have, now. yeah. He called my daughter the baby. And because he said, give my love to the baby. Yes. All right, love, and who's Joanne? Joanne. Well, think of Susie. That's my sister-in-law. Well, Joanne or jo or Joan or something goes with the Susie. Don't worry about no, it, love. No. But take some flowers at the end of the afternoon and so let's say happy birthday. You have a bunch as well, love, because it was your birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank it's you. Like I'll put them near me, Nan. <laughs> what, love? I'll put them on me, Nan's picture. You do, love, because she's here as well. Are you sure that you don't know anybody that had cancer of the tummy or something? I, I know uh, my uncle Jack, well, my mum's uncle Jack died with cancer and you, of, the, of the bowels and stomach. You did, love. It, it is did. your Jack that's popping in. <laughs> Come on, let's get a nan through quickly. Your nan had a cerebral hemorrhage, love, didn't she? Oh, I thought she just went to sleep. Yeah, a stroke, love, in so many ways. Well, it's a blood clot, but it's a cerebral hemorrhage. You just close your eyes and you don't wake up she again. She went to sleep. You know, and so she must have been a good lass. She, well, I think I was. How, lo how long did it take to go over, Doris? I've, I've been on numerous occasions to spiritualists and mediums. And they just say that she's not there yet. Oh, stuff. The medic. <laughs> Donna the tonist. But that, I, I was Very briefly, love, I'll tell you, and for the, for the new people, as you, you were attached to your mother with the umbilical cord, right? So our spiritual bodies are attached to this one with what we call the silver cord. And it, you rise up when you come into the end. In th like that. Sometimes you can go over the caudal part like that. That's what happened to you, Nan. She just went, what a lovely way to go. That's what I prayed for, love. Like. And she's yes. over and she's safe. And she's met Bill. Yeah. And, she, yeah, and she's met Jack. Jack, yeah. And he's over there with them. There's somebody called Annie. Yeah, that's her sister. She said, she and, and, and they sisters. tell me I'm not here. She said. <laughs> she had six sisters. <laughs> the only thing, Al Leslie, you didn't put my teeth in. <laughs> they, they lost him in the hospital. <laughs> they couldn't find her teeth. <laughs> and she was always on about her teeth. She wouldn't go nowhere about her teeth. She said, I've been wanting to come back and tell you, Al Leslie, you didn't put my teeth in. <laughs> she didn't. They lost them in the hospital. Well, you don't need them over there, Pat. You can get your own back. She said, yeah, give Leslie, can I give some flowers to my granddaughter? Because she did. She's a good her. girl to me. And I love yeah. her. Well, I always and told you I loved her. She yeah, knows she knows. Her. And uh, yes, darling, I will. <laughs> and who are we, and she's met Arthur. Yeah. He's with them. Yeah. She's come out five Arthur. minutes now. She said, we're looking after the boys, don't worry. Or they're looking after us, one or the other. And October the something is important. October the 6th is her great-granddaughter's birthday. That's important. She couldn't remember the date, but she, she knows it's in October. Yeah. Will you give her, Matt, give her a big hug for who's Vicky? Vicky. Or Nikki. We don't know, darling. No. Let it go. It belongs to somebody else. So that's uh, flowers for Leslie. Yes, I will, love. All right, darling. She thought you weren't going to. We weren't going to get a chance to talk. Yes. Were you well up to that time, love? Now I'd had a bit of a stroke like you, Doris, a mild one. You had trouble with her knees. 
Yeah, and she'd had, a bit of a, she'd had a bit of a milestone that used to leave her a bit shaky. Yeah, she, she fell on her hip and all the one side, it wasn't a stroke, but she fell on her hip and one side she couldn't move properly. She said I had a bit of a stroke, that's where I fell down. I know what happened to me, she said. <laughs> are you wearing a ring belonging to her, love? Yeah. You I'm are? She says, ah, Leslie's got my ring on. I know what happened to me, she said I had a bit of a stroke, you know. Blacked out for a minute, fell down, never walked She did. Again. She, she did. Says, you, she at fell. least you can move, she said. I had it left you with a shaky leg, I know, darling. She did. She well, fell. be. I know you're happy, love. All you want is for the kids to be happy, don't we?